this video we're gonna talk about the topic of cussing or swearing whatever you want to call it and I'm gonna answer the question is it always a sin to use any word that society deems as a swear word um, I'm just gonna go through some biblical texts and I will give you my stance on it so Exodus 27 says not to take the Lord's name in vain um, so obviously if you um, are cursing God obviously that's wrong like for example if you're using Jesus Christ as a swear word um, that's obviously wrong and I'm also going to add that I don't think this verse is specifically talking about um, cursing God in your words but it could also very well be your actions in the way that you're representing God um, like try let me give you an example someone using God as an excuse to be hateful I would argue strongly that they are breaking this commandment um, it's not just words but also your actions we are to speak the truth in love and if you're speaking quote-unquote truth and hatred and bitterness which I do see a lot of times people do it um, I think you are breaking the commandment um, 1 Peter 315 says that yes we do need to give an account for the hope that's in us but it should be done with gentleness and respect okay so I think what it comes down to is the intention um, like if you're saying if you're cursing God like using Jesus Christ as a cuss word for example yeah you've literally broke the commandment but if you're just misrepresenting God you've also broken the commandment okay now let's go to some other biblical text mark 12 30 through 31 says to love God but also love your neighbor and that's the greatest commandment now we've already went over how um, cursing God is a biblical form of like what you could call cussing like it's it's wrong um, but here we also see the importance of loving our neighbor so I would definitely say that biblically cuss words used to curse another person would definitely um, definitely be wrong like for example let's say you're really angry at someone and you just say like F you to them I would definitely say that what you would have done there would have would be wrong um, but again I don't think it's just words I think it's also um, wrong if you if you hate someone you've also broken this commandment if you if you hate another person or if you don't forgive them um, so it's not just words but also the intention behind it so I covered two instances where using words that society deems as a cuss word is wrong if you're cursing God or you're cursing another person so biblically is it always wrong to use any word deemed as a cuss word um I believe that you could make a strong case that not every single word that society deems a cuss word is always wrong to use and I think it strongly comes down to your intention because the Bible does say that the Lord looks at the heart so let me give you an example you guys know Jeff Durbin um, the 
like the Christian apologist, the the reformed guy, and he like preaches to people and <laughs> goes to like Planned Parenthood to try to stop abortion and stuff. Like you know that dude. <laughs> well, there was an instance where he called theories that are literally against God bullshit. And a lot of Christians thought that he sinned by saying bullshit, but I don't think he did because, again, what does it come down to? Your intention. Did he curse God? No. Did he curse other people? No. He was calling theories that keep people away from God bullshit, okay? I don't think he did anything wrong. You know... In the Bible, Paul used the word skubalon, which, in Greek, which actually means shit. In Philippians 3.8, he said, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may gain Christ. Well, this word dung... <laughs> In the original Greek language, it was skubalon, and a better translation would be shit. <laughs> so, um, no, he didn't do anything wrong by saying that. What was he calling shit? Well, <laughs> the stuff that would separate him from God. Okay? He wasn't cursing God, he was not cursing another person. Um, so I don't think that was wrong of him. So I do think that, again, you can make a very strong case that not every single word in, in English or other languages deemed as a cuss word is as inherently a sin to say it. I really, really think that it comes down to your intention. Like, let's, uh, let me give you an example. The the name Jesus Christ, you know? You will not find one Christian in the world that would say that the name of Jesus Christ is inherently a cuss word. That would be pure blasphemy. But some people do use it as a cuss word. And obviously that's wrong. But you see what I mean? It comes down to your intention. Like, someone could say the name of Jesus Christ to worship God, and that's what we should do, or they could say it to curse God, okay? And I think it's that way with other words as well, like, what, what is your intention in saying it? And I would say that if you're using a cuss word to curse God or another person, you're wrong, but you're just as wrong if you're showing hatred towards God or hatred towards others, okay? And some people who think that we must not say any word deemed as a cuss word use Ephesians 4.29 to explain their stance. So let's just walk through it and read it. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So yes, we see here that we're to keep conversations um, holy and not corrupt. And um, our conversation should be to the use of edifying and ministering grace unto the hearers. But the text does not say like, you can't say this word or this word or this word. It just says to not let corrupt communication come forth out of your mouth. And I would strongly say that 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 is um, your intention, that's what it comes down to. So in conclusion, um, to know if by using a word that's considered a cuss word, did you do something wrong? It comes down to the intent and did you curse God? Did you curse others? And that would give you your answer. And that's not based solely on words, but also on your intention. And I think, I think that um, we shouldn't let society define 
which words are right and which words are wrong because God looks at the heart and there is no Bible verse that says you can't say this, this, and this word. Um, so what, what's, your, what's your intention? What are you meaning to do by saying those words? And I think that would give you your answer if you've done something wrong or not. So yeah, this is my take on it. I know some people will disagree. And when I was a new Christian, I thought I must not say any word deemed as a cuss word. But I've actually changed my stance. I think it comes down to your heart. So yeah. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video because I thought I should just clear this misconception up because it's a very popular misconception. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!